Hey everybody, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. This is Hazel Intuition and I have got a fun pick a card for you today. I think it's going to be, I'm like fun, it's going to be positive at least. It's going to be about the roads that are opening up to you. I mean, I guess that could go either way, but I'm thinking positive here. So let's begin and waste no more time and pick our cards. So for I'm like card number one, yeah, for group number one, pile one, we have the strength card for what new roads are opening up for you. Pile two, we have the devil card for what new roads are opening up for you. Pile three, we have the Hierophant or the Hierophant or however you prefer to say it. And then for pile four, we have the Temperance card. Okay, so those are your choices. Click the timestamp in the description box or the comment section and I'll see you in your pile. Bye. Hey, group number one, if you chose the strength card, you're in the right place. Before we start, I just want to remind you that this is a general and collective message to only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Also, it means the world to me and really helps the channel if you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you would like to tip, I'd love that. My info is in the description box below and thank you to all and any of those who like, subscribe, tip, it really means a lot. Okay, so I'm like, let's get right down to business. They're giving me immediately Mulan. Mulan's been coming up for me a lot, for uh, quite a bit for me. I'm like, why am I speaking this way? Um, I'm getting that song that's like, let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. <laughs> It's so good. It's so nostalgic for me. I'm like, I love that movie. That was literally my favorite movie, like, growing up. Like, literally. I haven't seen it in a while, but I remember it. Most of it. So, I mean, let's get down to business. You could be... I'm just... I just glanced at pile number two, the devil card. So, uh, that's giving... Yo, I feel like you're defeating an enemy. Like, what roads are opening up for pile number one? I feel like you're defeating an- Yo! You're defeating an enemy, certainly, and I feel like it's, like, not even hard for you. <laughs> like, maybe it was strenuous and exhausting, but, like, you're literally- I mean, like, you're defeating a Hun, but it's, like- And also, like, I don't- You're defeating- Like, the Huns in the- And I'm speaking about the characters in Mulan, specifically. Um, they're, like, big and- look threatening and like they look not they look like difficult you know beings to defeat but you're here with the strength card with your cat like agility you could even be like a smaller person or like not very like <laughs> like you're not brolic <laughs> but you are strong so maybe you are strong physically but you could be not physically strong, but like your lip, but maybe you're like extremely spiritually strong or your heart is very strong and your determination is very strong and you're like a cat and you're like, you could be sweet or you could be spicy and you could get people like, I'm getting imagery of oceans and the world and the world card right now. Like, it's kind of like, um, I don't know. Your strength is giving me, like, a geographic strength. Like, it expands across the seas. And, like, what what are you, pile number one? You could resonate with some sort of, like, spiritual being or, like, mythical creature, like a mermaid or something like that. It is a very powerful energy, I will say. And you're, like, LOL about it. Let's get down to business. You're like, this is just another day. Another day in the life. I'm seeing. <laughs> so I think I will get into um, what roads are opening up for you. But I feel like maybe you've been going after this opponent for a while. 
or this endeavor and you've been fighting and you've been fighting hard and like it also kind of feels annoying like maybe like it's a like a little mouse that just keeps running around your house and you keep missing it and you need to catch it and it just like has been going on for like weeks and weeks or months or even years like I don't know yeah and wow like it felt like forever and then you finally catch this thing like you're finally going to achieve this thing or you're finally going to catch this this mouse or get rid of this annoying pest in your life or something to that nature you're going to achieve or dominate or catch something it's going to be like that first moment where you're like or when there's a like there's a fly around and you finally like get the fly in a jar so you can set it free or just get it away from you I don't know if this is all going to be different for each of you. Let me know how it resonates for you in the comments. But I think that when I, because I saw the world card that it's going, I'm not saying this is the world card though. It could be, I haven't turned it over yet. It's going to like, it's a time where you're going to complete a cycle. Yeah, all that work that you've been doing, even work that you've been doing with other people <gasps> is going to result in victory. So that's so exciting for you, pile number one. I feel like it's a relief. Like you're finally like, ah, And... Just to go back to that, like, the Hun. Like, I'm just thinking, I don't remember his name. He's, like, the main opponent of Mulan in the movie. And, like, he looks... Doesn't he have, like, a soft heart eventually? Or, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like... Because I'm trying to explain to you the dynamic of how, like, this person is both a little fly and a little mouse at the same time, or this situation. Like, it's annoying, and it's just, like, a thing that you need to catch and that you can totally handle. But it's also, at the same time, like, really, like, it could be intimidating, or it could be, like, it just keeps going, and, like, I don't know. It has some sort of force or, like, appearance of force to it. It could be like an illusion though. This could be you winning victory in over a like love situation or a past love situation or somebody that you don't want to be with or like a like I'm seeing like love letters, notes, like maybe someone who would like met a like low key stalker or not low key stalker we'll see but you're winning victory like in a in like a situation that has to do with like love and heart and yeah and heartbreak pain so it could be like a breakup or something and you're like getting victory over this person or it could be an ex person wow the tower ha! i feel like this is good for you okay i just saw six four six I feel like, yo, because we have the Nine of Swords and then we have the Queen of Wands. It's kind of funny. So what doors are opening up for you? Like you're gonna finally be able to catch this thing and like perhaps you're going to cause a storm and in that storm you are causing a transformation. You are letting go and like getting rid of, ridding yourself. I'm seeing like a, yeah, I'm seeing like a building crumbling down but it's like cathartic. And I feel like you could be witchy or you could be like controlling this or like a manifester or you're just doing your plans and goals in life. But it's like almost like you've had to defeat the enemy or you've had to like get over this hump or like it could even be like you have to like finish your degree or something like that. But it feels more like there's an opponent here. Like if there's someone that's like, I literally got let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Like what? Um, let's see what this tower is and why it's uh, temporary problems. So I feel like this is kind of like a future prediction. I feel like there's this was a temporary problem. No matter how long that it lasted, I feel like it's going to end. But I also feel like this temp this you might have to like deal with a temporary problem. And that's going to open the doors open the roads to a new foundation. It's giving blockbuster energy. Someone is behaving stupidly. It's in the reverse. I feel like you're having to be smart and strategic. Yeah, I do feel like you're behind this tower. 
money, property through windfall inheritance. It could have to do with money. Maybe somebody's in the way of your money or something. But I feel like you're closing the mouth of this turkey or closing the mouth of this. I'm hearing like gab or like, you know, like the gift of gab. Like I feel like someone like talks a lot. They're like, block, 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 block. Like what does the turkey sound make? Ooh, and I heard they're just, they're gonna get like, oh, this is kind of a little gruesome. I heard they're gonna get like eaten at Thanksgiving, which is like, I have my own feels about all of that. But, um, it's giving almost like this, this, um, fight with this person or this situation has made you strong and powerful and it's some or like there's it's given you something or it's offered you something at the very least by you having to like deal with it and overcome it and catch it and get like agile and i heard fragile fragile so maybe you were more fragile before or fra fragile before maybe some of you say fragile and you've gotten a lot stronger through these transformations and like that means that you're a different person now you're like not gonna back down it's a very strong it's a very strong energy but you're kind of like ha, ha like you're owning it now like i like it a lot there's a lot more that we need to get into like i feel like we're missing a lot more and i'm not trying to be here forever but we have caterpillar Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So like what roads are opening for you now? Like the caterpillar, like you're literally in the transformation period. So maybe like this is the message that you need to hear that like, I feel like you're the caterpillar about to snap. This is a weird terminology, but like snap into the cocoon, form into the cocoon or like come out of it and become that butterfly. Oh my gosh, the caterpillar and the butterfly. Yes. A change is coming and it's transforming you and you've been in transformation because as a caterpillar, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is cute. And now I'm getting one of those like, I don't remember the name of the book, but it's a children's book with a caterpillar. Maybe some of you have children and you have a book with a caterpillar. If you do, I would look in that book for messages about your transformation or like a caterpillar butterfly as like a guidance. I know it's quite mainstream, but it's important for your for your, I'm hearing for your system right now, because you're not always going to be in the caterpillar butterfly transformation energy. I mean, you will always, I think, keep coming back to it and reforming and returning and like continue to create a new and shed your skin. Also, some of you might resonate with snakes. Maybe you'll be more comfortable with that, especially if it's a darker energy for you that you're transforming into your inner darkness. It's like, it's like balancing this inner darkness and this inner light, this inner peace. So I feel like you are gaining peace from this darkness. Let me know how this is resonating for y'all because you are learning, you have learned to be in your power. Like you are, I don't even know, like you're like a cat, just hold, like I don't know how else to describe it. Like you're very much like in your own power right now. So what's going to come of this transformation? So we have heartache over what you no longer have. I feel like you might be dealing with some heartache or I feel like somebody else you might be, might be dealing with some heartache. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. I just saw 1223. This has to do with dealings with other people. Relationships that are one-on-one -on -one and group relationships. New job and career just popped out. And we see pin. So I feel like you're starting to be or you're in this transformation period of being a leader of your own like life and destiny for lack of a better term, like what you want to do in life and your own like self-worth and a, and like I'm hearing like luxury and your like right and ability to do that. new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up so i'm like what is what are the roads that are opening up new opportunities are opening up for you positions um some of you i'm seeing might even like do some sort of like speaking or singing events or playing your guitar or something in front of an audience or like something at a cafe or maybe you'll be like having your art put up a cat up at a cafe or get some sort of like 
Ooh. I'm hearing recognition and prestige, but it's more like the path to that. And I'm hearing resolution. So maybe you'll be like mending or, or like hitting up or someone will hit you up that like you used to know. And I think maybe you can get opportunities from that, but I'm not telling you necessarily to do that. So you're at the beginning of this journey right now. You could be transforming things in your job or your career, or your ideas about it. That's definitely what's opening up. Your protection is opening up. We have April. You could have begun seeing these things happen in April. We have younger man. We have getting together with friends, successfully overcoming a problem. So I feel like maybe the younger man is the problem that you've been dealing with. There's a lot here, like, like I was saying, like I feel like you're completely changing or like I, like I feel like a lot, I feel like you're changing. So I feel like a lot of things in your life are going to change. So we have someone working against you behind your back, but we also had protected from negative forces beyond your control. A marriage will take place, romance or business. I just said that. So I think you're going to start getting opportunities. Yeah, possibly from friends or maybe collaborations with friends. You're going to start getting more opportunities, but it's going to lead, I believe. Like you're starting a new foundation, basically. And it's going to lead to a new like path or endeavor or craft or practice or something that's a lot more tangible in life. We have muddled, unclear thinking. So right now, like you're in a creation process. So just go through that death and rebirth and creation process. I feel like you're dying and you're being born at the same time. We have spiritual love. So this is an extremely spiritual experience for you with what roads are opening up for you right now. Um, and it's the beginning of a beautiful, nice, new, long experience, a valuable one. But I think the spirit is trying to tell you like, be proud of what you've overcome, of this this rat, this mouse that you've caught, or just being able to take, like, to achieve and take hold and care of your own life, I guess. And that right now you're super, super duper changing. And so it's like, it's a longer process. Like, don't expect immediate results and or like embrace this like, stormy transformation process uh, or of you in the cocoon it could be calm for you and it could be and it could be like like a rush like or turmoil for you like I feel like it's up to you and I feel like it's going to be all of those things so you might be going through a lot of emotions or like a lot of thought I'm hearing thought practices you might be being um recommended to do some sort of journaling or thought practices or answering certain questions about your life yourself your purpose in life your worldly contribution, things like that. Gratitude list, because we had that thanks earlier. Look, Ten of Cups. Satiety. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's giving like, yeah, satiate, satiated. Like, I, you feel completely full and content. So that's where you're headed. That's what's opening up for you. You're just going through this stormy process. Tell me how pile one is like the star. Yeah, I heard recognition earlier too. You're going to gain more recognition. And I think you're going to be figuring out how you want to gain that recognition or what you want that to look like or how you're going to like respond to it. We have oppression, 10 of wands. You might feel even like it's a heavy or it's a burden to like have this like you might be a little resistant to change and you might feel like it's diff like if you're going to be more in the spotlight you might be nervous about that or something so how is pile number 1 like behind this tower like being the you're the creator of the tower you're changing your own foundation and this is the Thoth deck. It's like the first time that I'm using it. So I don't know all the cards yet, but I will be reading intuitively and from what I know. So we do have love and I think that's beautiful. I think you're chasing what you actually love, what you actually care about. I think you are seeking fulfillment and possibly in connections as well, but I feel like your own life comes first, like your own job, your own career, or your own stability and well-being comes first, your own mental health. I also, when I hit this, hit this, interesting, 
okay? I heard the word sabotage, so I feel like maybe you're afraid of people sabotaging you, or you feel like afraid of self-sabotage, or that people in the past have done that, and so you're like protected with a cushion, or you protect yourself with a cushion. Okay, we have futility, seven of swords, so I feel like you're like not, you could be doing something sneaky by creating this tower, um, I also feel like you are just like standing your ground. You're not, you're like not holding back. Like you're going to do what you need to do to like get, get done basically for your own wish fulfillment and love. This also could have to do with love or a relationship. You could be like controlling or destroying a love or a relationship in some kind of way. We do have Prince of Cups. Who are you, Pile One? change in the reverse. <clears throat> I'm hearing like your, this is your experimental side. This is your dark side. You're like delving into your dark side in this process to, tr to transform or in your process of transformation. Yeah, your dark side with the sun in the reverse. But you're going, the, I think with the Prince of Cups, I think you're just going after your dreams, yeah your wish fulfillment. And I feel like some of you might be doing things that are, I don't know, what is the seven of, we have oppression. What's the seven of swords? You're just like gonna, you're like a king or a queen. Like you're gonna make decisions. You're gonna do whatever you need to do, no matter really, maybe no matter who gets in the way, but for your own happiness. This also means you're gonna turn certain people down or, and you're going to stop working with certain people. There is some deception here. It's interesting. I feel like it's you and others. It's interesting, pile number one. So yeah, I hope that that resonated with you. But I feel like you're in this super strong, what roads are opening up to you? Like you're in this like super strong, like go-getter energy like it's even giving me I haven't seen this show in forever I barely remember the name of it but it's like Nikita the spy or Nikita the like warrior or agent or something like let me know in the comments but it's this like super badass like woman that will like do whatever to get what she wants and that's like high key you and like, that's how you're trans, that's why you're transforming. Cause you've been through all this, trying to catch this mouse. That's how you're transforming. And that's part of how, what you're transforming into. But I feel like you are gonna get softer and wiser, maybe not cushier, like you're still gonna have your strength. Definitely, you're gonna be strong like an elephant after this. Like you won't have, and you're going to be chilling like in luxury, strung like an elephant because you're going to know how to handle these difficult situations because you already have. You're like a boss. You're like kind of like a scary boss. Like I wouldn't want to mess with you. <coughs> and when I said scary, I started like choking. So cool. Um, you're definitely going to leave certain people, places, and situations behind and do what's best for you. That is highly what I'm getting. Yeah. So yeah, let me know how that resonates. Thanks for hitting that like button and subscribing if you chose to do so. Pile number one. And love, cute. We love you. Go after your love. Go after your, your best self. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. So you chose the devil card. I'm like, what's going on there, pile two? <laughs> We'll see. I feel like you might be dealing with somebody that's like, I don't know. We're going to see uh, a lot or you're a lot or you're dealing with a lot. So it's a cute card, though. Um, I'm going to start with this Thoth tarot deck, which I have not. I like literally just got it. Um, perfect for I'm hearing perfect for your reading. OK, it is like it, is, it does have a little bit of a darker vibe. I don't yet know all of the cards, but I read intuitively and it's been really fun um, reading from it, from what I saw in pile number one. So 
So we're gonna see what roads are opening up for you. What's going on there for pile number two? Why am I like clowning? You could be tired of something. We have lust. Of course you have lust when you have the devil card. Um, this card's really interesting. It like reminds me of the Ace of Wands. It reminds me of the Strength, the Leo card. Hmm. Does this looks like they're they're like touching like um that day? <laughs> oh, that like I'm hearing. Is it literally Cardi B? That little dangly thing in the back of your throat. <laughs> What? Oh my god. You guys. This is not 18 plus. The moon. But you're like, you're like in the, in the dark it is. There's all these like inside like, oh my gosh. How do I explain this in a PG-13 kind of way? This, ooh. What is, let me just, let's just ask questions. What, y'all have a very interesting, um, even kind of like a little bit like nasty energy, but it's not gross nasty. It's like, ooh, I love this card. I don't, I'm like, it doesn't have a name, but I love it. We have the hanged man. <laughs> You guys, why are you like this? You guys are so, like, in your sensual energy and in your dark sensual energy. So I don't know, that kind of stuff could be opening up for you. That does not work. I'm looking for something to cover the Nakey with. Yeah, you could be in your dark sexual energy. I keep hearing Cardi B and I keep hearing also Nicki Minaj. I don't know if I'm just like associating Nicki with Cardi. Okay, here we go. It's like a little bathing suit there. Some of you could be like going to the beach or live in hot climates. Um, Power. There's this like very, I might have to 18 plus this honestly, we'll see. There's this very strong, like, indulgent, could be toxic power dynamic, could be gender power dynamics. It's people power dynamics. It's person over person power dynamics that also has a sexual energy. I'm hearing, like, chains and other kinds of, like... <laughs> I don't know. Objects that people would have to be dominant over another. Jeez. And this could be hypothetical, theoretical, physical. Some person could even enjoy causing pain to another person. They could be like a sadist of some sort. Why is this coming out? And it's about like, tr this is interesting. It's about transforming and finding some sort of, not just light, but some sort of like, experiencing all the full excesses of the self. And I'm hearing ecstasy, like experiencing all of the full possibilities that the self can experience for the purposes of transformation. But it also, it's not like, you or this person or whatever, if you're resonating with this, is aware that it is going to cause this deep transformation, nor did they seek it out consciously to transform. But I feel like we talked about going through the darkness to transform, like that's what pile one was about. So if you want a lighter energy that talks about that, I would go to pile one. I do think it resonates, at least this part. Y'all, I did not expect you to be so intense, but you are the devil card, so maybe I should have. 
Yeah, and I'm seeing things like zippers and jackets. Like the fact that I got this like zipper pulley. <laughs> Okay, let's see what this transformation is. Like, these are opening. You're transforming through darkness. Is this... I don't know if this is you or somebody else, though. You might be hearing of this from somebody else. Some of you might make money from this. Or you're gaining some sort of spiritual gain or wish fulfillment. That's the Nine of Pentacles, though. Some of you could be, like, performers. Or, like, you could be, like, sex workers of some sort. This is really weird. I just heard this, um, it's kind of funny. I bet this is not how you pronounce it, but it's like a classical, like an old classical artist named like Debussy or something like that. I don't know if any of you resonate with that or you listen to classical music or maybe some of you have like, you work with people or you have clients or the, the, there's something about music here or something being classic or classical and it's not giving classic rock it's giving like piano classical i know this is like weird right now but this is what i'm channeling and i'll keep going and like figure out what this means for you some of you could be this is seven of swords which came out futility in the pile in pile one as well it's even doing like naughty or sneaky things to get by or to get ahead some of you might really like my Lilith readings like you're gaining some sort of money or prominence or power by dominating other people or by being in power but allowing other people to dominate you it is giving me like a Jezebel root energy those of you who know who know a cunning, it's giving a Pombajira energy. Those of you who know, know. I like it. I'm attracted to it. It's exciting. I feel like other people might feel this way about you or this is how you feel about it. Or this is how other people, this person feels about their their craft. I don't know what they do. They do something. Strife. And I thought I saw this as the Ace of Wands in the verse. So I feel like they this person could lie. They could hustle. Or like, if it's not that, like, disappointment. This person could steal from other people. This person could take advantage of... This could be like somebody that you're against. And maybe like this person is alluring and people are attracted to it. Oh, I was going to say this might be, this is exciting, but like it depends on the person if they see it as morally right or wrong or if they're going to decide to align with it or not, right? So this person could hold people back from new beginnings or they could take their money or something like that. This is really like dramatic. I don't know why this, why does this have to do with roads opening up for you? We have change, which is in the reverse, and we have this snake, this Ouroboros, I believe, and it's giving endless, honestly. And then we have virtue, which is three of wands in the reverse. This is really weird and interesting, and I feel like this might be a warning, or it might be like insight into someone you know, or maybe it's about you, I don't know. Y'all will have to let me know in the comments. This is a really interesting reading, and I think it's why I was told to choose four piles, because it's like maybe specific. But this is three of wands in the reverse. That's not moving forward. That's like the fool in the reverse. It's not moving forward or it's waiting for your ships to come in, but they don't like this person or this situation is deceptive. I hope they're not coming towards you. And they're like happy about it or they they feel proud or cunning about their deception and the hang and keeping people stuck or in stuck situations like the priestess and they could use magic for some of you yeah i'm really feeling that i'm getting like a really like strong confirmation right now this is literally the same thing swiftness eight to keep people stagnant why why is this in your this is a war like why 
unbalanced. This is, I think this is temperance in the reverse, but regardless, I'm gonna read it that way. And this is also giving me a magician type card. So that they can have control over people and what they do and their balance in life. Why the sun, why are we being told this for this roads ahead? Queen of Cups. And I'm sorry about the noise in the background. I wonder if this, this is tied to the beginning of pile one. Are you gonna like be like, is this like a love interest? Like, is this like a parent, a mother? I feel like you're gonna be like in a situation with this person or like, if not, like what's gonna happen with this person? I don't understand. Like you might gain victory over this person because we have the queen of discs and the queen of discs in the last pile was, and sometimes they're connected and this is just like what they're, they're connecting me to this for a reason. This person is like very headstrong. This person that we're dealing with could be, you're dealing with, we're dealing with, could be headstrong. But I feel like you are too. And you're like, could be like a boss bee. And this Knight of Wands. This could have been like a past person that you were dealing with. Like a one of those player karyotypes, cario stereotypes. Isn't a karyotype like a, that's a thing. It's like a biological thing. The hermit in the reverse, they could be coming out of hiding or they did or something. This person could be very emotional because we have sorrow. So what roads are opening up for you? I don't understand. How is this roads opening up for pile two? Truce in the reverse, getting up from rest. Somebody's, this is like somebody's coming, somebody's gonna get up from rest maybe against you or not a truce, to not have a truce? What is the truce in the reverse? Thank you, spirit. This person might try and deceive you. I will say that. Try to manipulate you for their own gain. Like I was saying, the nine of pentacles. Maybe get you to stop taking action or stop some sort of opportunity. Yeah, to not complete something because that's what they do. That's what they've been trying to do with people. And they've been very stubborn about it because they want you to fly a certain direction or they want to fly a certain direction or they want to fly directly to you. I don't know. Why is this like, I really hope y'all are not dealing with like a stalker energy. What is this fortune? They could be trying to give you an offer or something. This is something about like completing a cycle with this. This is like so connected to pile number. What is that? They could be trying to offer you something, but it's inter it would try to like get in your, it would, it would get in your head and, and interfere with some sort of plans that you have with some sort of two, two of swords, some sort of truce, some sort of decision being made. It might stop or halt some sort of decision being made by trying to offer you something good, a good time, money, a job, queen of wands. They're gonna use their alluring power to do this, their fire energy. They might position themselves as successful or as if, as if they have success. Failure in the reverse, yeah, that they're like not a failure or something. I'm sorry, it's this weird message, y'all. The emperor in the reverse, yeah, it's very much an emperor in the reverse energy, but honestly, like, not, you're, like, not even an emperor. Like, chill. Um, happiness. They want their wish fulfillment. What do they, what do they want? This person's coming toward, is this person? Yeah. Lust. Are you kidding me? This person wants lust, pile two. I'm like, I can't make this up. Like, what the heck is going on? And this is the card. Mmm, gross. Prince of Swords. They look like pentacles to me. They want to say something to you, or they've been spying on you, or watching you, or talking about you, or to, uh, imagining about you. Like, it's getting Page of Swords, like, like, plot, plan, like, imagining it's not even plotting and planning peace there we go with this energy this truce energy again but it was like i feel like this is a trap this is and it's trying to give me a song but it, the channel isn't strong this is a i feel like this is a trap 
use your own discernment, but you do need to question, <laughs> you do need to question this thing because if you have walls up for some reason, or if you have, you're waiting on making a decision or you're not making a decision or something like that, somebody's going to come towards you and they're going to try and use their lustful energy. They're going to try and use their, I just heard confusing energy. Like they're going to try and confuse you or they're going to try to like, yeah, that's literally like have some sort of control and power over your mind because they could be that kind of like sadistic energy likes to control people that I was talking about earlier or either earlier in your pile or earlier in pile two. So this person wants to interfere. They want to interfere with your mind. They want to interfere with your mind being at peace and they might come towards you quickly, it, relatively, whatever that means for you. Can't really tell time very well in tarot. It depends. Um, acting like they're this knight in shining armor with some sort of gift or some sort of like I'm hearing like vacation or some sort of time or time off or something. I don't know. Maybe some of them could be like a boss, but I don't know. Some sort of opportunity. Maybe an opportunity that you didn't accept before or that wasn't available before or something. Or that an, an opportunity that you don't want that also just has like like they're just gassing it up. Like it's not much of a of an actual, I just heard said financial. So maybe they are saying it's a financial opportunity, but it maybe it ends up it like, they're just like, there's a lot of like hot air behind it. Like it's just like a lot of talk, but it's not really like, or it's not very, like this thing isn't very well put together. This truce in the reverse though, and ew with their lust. Why is this opening up for you? They're like using because they they're using this as a as a message to say that things are not going to be moving very fast right well. I feel like in pile 1 and they are connected definitely. You need to like balance out or equal out this negative energy or this person's trying to stagnate you or this person's about to come towards you. I don't know if it's spiritually, physically, through text message, through email, through video, FaceTime, I don't know. And they're going to try to offer you something to change your mind or to change your dynamic or to trick you into something going in their favor or their way. And this all has to do with holding you back or stopping you or blocking you from moving forward or from receiving what you've been waiting for or something like that. Let me know how it resonates. I hope this helps. Swiftness in the reverse. Like it's going to halt. Like you, it looks like this fortune, but it's going to like halt you. And they're going to be like, this is for peace. Like I've changed. I'm a, like a lotus flower. Like, uh, sweaty. The moon. Yeah, there's deception there. They're not, they're not changed. They're not equal. So I feel like your roads right now, like what does this mean for your roads? It's not failure in the reverse. Seven of pentacles. You need to like deal with this thing and you do need to be stubborn about it. Just like they're stubborn about it and grounded and you need to use your brain and you need to use your like force in your mind or something to so that you make sure you keep growing because this is seven of pentacles in the reverse they want you to stop growing in your success or your craft or something and they they need you to not get stagnant or not stop accelerating or not don't be apathetic the lovers don't get caught up in like lust or confusion and get thrown off your path because it's part of this person's like i heard endeavor their plan to control they could want to control you they could see you as a threat or they want to like get up there this looks like the hierophant's holding a key the hierophant is like a gatekeeper they want to be a gatekeeper to your opportunities yeah happiness to your wish fulfillment and because that's for some reason going to help them feel good about or have their wish fulfillment or something 
they might do anything to get what they want. So what's, how are your road, roads opening for you now? You need to do some, what do they need to do? You need to like fight back. There's strife right now and you need to fight back. You like can't, well, I'm not going to say you can't walk away and give up, but I feel like there might be this like energy that wants you to, that could be around you, like to run away. Like, oh, this is too hard. This is too much of a burden. Like if this were me, I'd be like, don't do that. Get out of your shell. Don't let anyone hold you back from your 10 of cups from being fulfilled. And or this fool is like you're ready, like you're about to go get fulfilled and have everything that you ever want. You're, you're going to be super happy. You're going to have the relationship that you want. It, like whatever resonates with you, basically, because these are not personal. They're collective. Um, but there's something that is holding you back from a new beginning. And I feel like it's like dealing with or cleaning up this or like transmuting or like or like getting over this obstacle this could be like the the rat or the mouse or the fly or the hun we have all these different names for this person in pile one as well because you could be mirroring each other too you could resonate like because you're both in a fight i feel you could be resonating with like the the reading could be resonating as both you and that person at different times yeah so you're like the road is like Mm, it's like you have to get over this one roadblock, then you're like free. Sorry. Then you're like, it's time. Like you can like, I'm seeing like a car drive off on a road really fast. Like, a, like a, I'm hearing like a red Cadillac. Yeah, and you're going to be good. So I hope that that helps. Let me know how it resonates. Best of luck to you, pile number two. Um, hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know. Um in the comments and if you want to tip my infos in the description box below thank you so much for everything and i hope to see you in another reading Bye. hello pile three if you chose the hierophant for what roads what paths are opening up for you you made it so this cat <laughs> this person looks like they're studying it looks like they're making a decision it looks like they're writing, they're like signing their name on paper or they're just kind of like, this cat is like putting their hand down like, this is the situation. Like, this is what I'm deciding. This is what I'm doing and like owning it. Yeah, it's like really sweet. I heard for some of you it could be bittersweet, but yeah, these like columns in the background and like the, the feather, and ink and the writing at like night it actually is giving me like early like pr u.s president energy like that stuff that they teach you in school but it's also giving like even legal like some of you could be like lawyers or students or studying so or like there's just something administrative or something like even if it's not literally that because that's pretty literal at least in the in the ethers in the spirit there's like some sort of like decision being made some sort of signatures being made like i'm hearing like declaration of independence okay and i don't know what that Nicolas Cage movie is but there's some sort of Nicolas Cage movie I don't know is he trying to steal the Declaration of Independence like I don't know but there's some sort of like I don't know how to explain it signing of a document making something official do you know what I mean okay so interesting pile number I just, I saw this and I was like, pile, pile number five? No, you're pile number three. But I was going to do five piles and then I didn't. Um, and also five is change. So some sort of change. Yo, victory over the devil. <laughs> 
victory. Um, you're getting victory recognition, a celebration, some sort of achievement that I feel like you had to like stake your claim to in some kind of way. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Getting rid of some sort of, like it's getting, like it's allowing you to get out of your head or get out of some sort of like disruptive dynamic or something that stressed you out or was like mind boggling for some reason. Something that could have been tempting. So this like what roads are opening up for you. Like for all these piles so far, they've been like, and I do feel like the piles resonate with each other, but I'm not gonna like force it, of course. Just when I see it, I say it. They're about like letting like the transformation process of, of death and birth at the same time and like letting go of like certain people, places and things like for this transformation. So I feel like a, like some like past stuff might come up or like completing of cycles or things that are like about to be passed, you know? So what roads are, what are the open roads look like? What roads are opening up? Ooh, we have six of cups. See, didn't I just say past and then we have the six of cups? Like they make it too literal. It's kind of funny. Like I feel like they're playing, the spirit is, they're like so obvious sometimes. Like, are you playing games with me? It's cute. Um... This does look, um, work, it could be work-related. I mean, wow, I'm actually getting finding your people. Some of you could also be doing, like, ancestry work or, like, DNA work or something. I do, I am getting that some of you could be, like, indigenous or you could have indigenous ancestry and you're, like, looking for that because I heard finding your tribe and I don't use that term for, like, just finding people like that you resonate with like your soul group i would say like your but like they kept saying like finding your tribe so i don't know maybe some of you have like tribal um roots or resonances huh i feel like it could have taken you a while I, that was just like a also not the full message. I what's coming I feel like you were being held back or kind of clouded to the reality of how things were and then a light got shine shined on it. You could have been clouded by like passion and fear and so held back and you stayed in a situation or you didn't like go for your dreams or something or take a chance or leave your home to like I don't know with the four of pentacles but it feels like this hierophant is like this like signing the dotted line energy like I have a collective reading with that and I just like I guess the terminology just like it keeps coming up Like, it's going to be some sort of, like, decision or, like, victory or, like, that, like, marks a release from a cycle and, or, and a new beginning of some kind. Interesting. But the release or the new beginning, like, one of them might feel tangible and, like, material and the other one might be more, like, in the stars. Okay, I hope that that makes sense. Let me know how it resonates. Okay, Hierophant in the reverse. I feel like when you weren't making this decision or you weren't in your decision-making self, and this is also a spiritual person, a leader, a teacher, a guide. I'm actually... Let me see what that is. What's the Queen of Wands? It could be another person too. What's the Queen of Wands? Yeah, I feel like this is, like, you stuck in your head about, like, a love situation or something. But, like, you, you released yourself from that. And then you, like, turned it around. And with the Hierophant in the reverse, that's, like, could be breakup of a marriage, divorce. You, like, left this person or situation. And you're, like, no longer giving it into it anymore. Like, this person could have brought you flowers. They're, like, trying to be tempting. And it's, like, not. It's, like, not working. You're, like, they're, like, I'm studious now. I'm Elle Woods now. <laughs> Literally. 
Ten of Swords in the reverse. Like it's 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 over, it's over, it's done with. Like it's so done with and it that it's so done with. You know what I mean? Hermit in the reverse, and now you're coming out of your shell. I feel like this is gonna help you come out of your shell, or like you've learned, you've developed, like you've become enlightened about the situation, about what's good for you and what's not. You're like not going to accept offers from the past, though they keep coming to you. Or there's something about transforming offers from the past. What was that four of cups in the reverse about? Yeah, people just trying to offer you, like, things that are, yeah, like, lusty love things. People that are, like, they could, this is also, it could have been, like, a long-term partner or something. Like, someone you could have kids with, someone that you could have seen grown. Like, there's this, like, drawing dynamic, like, drawing in dynamic. But, you know, I think, like, dang. <laughs> someone you could say dang, because I don't say that. Um, Like, did you hear, like, I heard, like, a rumble of a motorcycle outside or something like you're like i make the rules so let's see what you're moving into because they're like just so you know like what roads are opening up for you like people from your past are going to be like or just like people like 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 <laughs> i feel like because i said like so many times there's gonna be like so many people that are liking you like 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 that's what i'm saying like <laughs> it's not that deep you know what I'm saying? LOL, it's not that deep. I. What is with the beeping outside? High Priestess in the reverse, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like people might even try to work really hard and even be shady or like close their eyes to certain things. Interesting. Huh. Bypass certain things like... <laughs> to work with with you like I feel like you're very like you could be popular or you just have this like big shining light about you and because you're showing up as the hierophant because I do feel like that is you you're like I feel like you're pretty unbothered but I feel like you're prone to being provoked by people Mm-hmm. because of your light and you're, I'm hearing your commitment to self. And I feel like they could be people that are trying to heal. Maybe people that are trying to heal from, like, toxic tendencies or things that drained them or something like that. Like, they see, like, light in you because... I don't know. What roads are opening up? Like, why is... Why are you the Hierophant? Like, I want to see, like, because you're moving... You're, like, signing this thing and moving into a new like dynamic or structure strength maybe you're like having to fight like why is this the same as pile two like you're having to fight off these people <laughs> it's also with the lion and like the girl like it was kind of i don't know why but i guess it was giving me like lion wise old so i kind of saw the lion as like an elder like an elder spirit so that you're gonna ha you're having you're having to like transform like like, you've got these, like, two sides to you, like, this youthful sort of innocent dynamic, maybe even playful dynamic, like, your human self, and then you're having to, like, transform and, and, like, listen to your higher self or, like, balance your, like, human and your higher self. Some of you could be Leos, you could resonate with, like, the lion energy, like, you're having to tap into your strength because people are going to be stressing you out. Oh, no, and I just saw one, one, yeah, eleven, eleven. It's true. People are going to be wanting to, like, drop their emotional burdens, I feel like, onto you. I don't know if you're, like, become, like, you're getting a job. Like, I'm, I'm going to see what it is. I don't know, but I feel like you could be getting a job or you could be, like, some sort of, like, social worker or caretaker or therapist or teacher or, like, spiritual coach or, like, something or someone that, okay. Yeah, maybe you could talk about, like, people's emotions or the past with them or, like, their lives growing up their options in life. You could be some sort of counselor, some sort of guidance counselor. Like it feels like, or like you are like going to be gaining more of that role. I feel like some of you could be considering that. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, the Thoth deck. You could have been disappointed with some of your like recent like the things that have happened, the, maybe the jobs you've had, like the opportunities that like didn't work out or like degrees that didn't finish or something. I don't know why it's like, it's like they're delaying me to get to the 
I feel like it's a it's a process. Like, do you see how it's taking me like a? I mean, at least it feels to me that it's taking me a little while to figure out what's, like to I to get to the point to start pulling the cards. They're like having me delay. You could be feeling like you're building from the ground up again. <laughs> these are all like all of these piles are like successive or something. Um, the key you're like waiting to be let in or you're like about to be let in. I feel like that the Hierophant is the road opening up for you, though. What is the Hierophant? Like, what is the role? Wow, why did that just, like, smack me? The King of Wands, strength. You're going to be in a power position or you are in a power position. And I feel like the, you're like, wow. Like, the people that are coming for, coming for you, but, like, in a good, like, not a good way, in a grubby way, like, they want your energy. And it's not necessarily bad because that could be part of your role or your job like on earth or whatever in your community. But look, with this like, this like, I don't know what to call it, this fire stick thing that these characters keep holding, they're giving me very like, mm, I'm here. Like it's giving like a community role and you're having to be strong for it. It also could feel like there's a lot of youth coming to you. Let me know how this resonates, y'all. They be people could like people are like coming to you. This is so interesting. People are gonna be coming to you. What roads are opening up to you? We'll see how this like benefits you. People are gonna be coming to you like upset, like with their woes, with their worries, and they're gonna be like, you're gonna be helping them to like get unstuck, get unstagnant. This could also be you getting unstuck, unstagnant. I feel like you're learning from your experiences. Yes, in the past when you didn't have like maybe like this same fire in you like your help like your it's almost like you're like a motivational speaker yeah you're like this is how i found the light yeah with that sound in the background like this is how i found the drive you're really giving me motivational speaker energy the moon you're like i'm gonna tell you all my sec not all your secrets i'm gonna tell you my secrets okay justice in the reverse so we do need to um check that out for you Yeah, because we have the moon and justice in the reverse, and I don't love that. I really don't. So, let's use these tea leaf cards. And I feel like your pile might be a little longer if we, like, because, like, they're delaying me. It's almost like maybe you feel delayed or it maybe took a long time to get to this Hierophant energy. I just saw taking risks. Like, why did the Hierophant energy, because it's usually more calm to me, but you keep showing up as like this fire element. Like you're like you're I, you're like I'm in charge. Like I'm here. I'm in charge. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. I'm like what roads are opening up for you? They're like these messages are more important, but they're related. Um, obstacles to overcome. Like people might be trying. These also could be like low low ball offers. Like, you could be in a power position or you could be gaining more of a power position or signing, off, like, leveling up in life or in career or something. Or in, like, yeah, presence, recognition, popularity, str like, I don't know what it is. Even, real, even like, I don't know, you're just, pa your power, you're powerful. And people are going to be coming to you like, hey, like, let's do this, let's do that. Like, you don't have to accept, they're saying, like, you don't have to accept every offer because you're this boss now. This could be love offers. They could, these could be any anything, but they're like, but why do you have obstacles to overcome? You are on the road to success because you're on the road to, okay. So they're really saying like you are on the road to success and that's why like people are going to be coming to you for help, for energy. Yeah, fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Some of you could be getting like, in a like in like a boss yeah power position very popular i just saw august maybe like the position could start in august or things could heat up in august like i'm even seeing like unfortunately like maybe even like trolls comment section stuff like like maybe you're like a, a influencer or something like that we have broken bridge unsuccessful outcome to a problem and use your intuition to make beneficial changes Feeling tied down or frustrated, family sorrow, new job or career, romance, deep personal strength and peace. So you're going to have to persevere to get through this. Like, I feel like what roads are opening up for you, like my spirits keeping like these are the obstacles in your road so that you can clear them, basically. 
Like that's what a lot of this, these readings like have had like a pretty much undertone of it. We have a meeting with a stranger could be important. I mean, can y'all see? A meeting with a stranger could be important. Maybe this person's a man with dark complexion or hair. Why is there an unsuccessful outcome to a problem? What problem? Oh my gosh. September, you will be you will receive a gift. What? Okay, so I feel like um and then we have pleasure with a close friend. I don't know who's watching and like take it as it resonates and fit it to your story, but don't force it. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Why do we have Queen? I think you could be a very um, popular person. You could have a lot of money. You could have status. And I think that you might be there. You're being warned of what could happen or what may happen. Nothing is set in stone. Uh, this is so specific of possible like hanging out with a close friend or having a, any kind of intimacy or relationship with a close friend because it's giving scandal like it's all like it's giving me like you're a celebrity or something it's giving scandal um uh, maybe you like like it's i'm literally seeing somebody like take a picture of like somebody with another person and then like posting it online and there being a bunch of like passionate comments and like like why like who are you let me know You could be new to this, like you could be newly getting like recognition or something. And I think people could be taking it, trying to take advantage of you and you're being warned. It could be an earth sign, a, another like successful person. If you're not resonating with this, like, I don't know, check out another pile or keep watching and we'll see, but we're about to end probably so. We have carriage, a journey, physical or mental. I also am seeing this like a club. Like it feels like you might be like you're being signed in, like you're part of a club. And oh, also because we see this, right? Carriage, I saw club and carriage, but like it looks like you're like you're Cinderella or something, but or not Cinderella, but like you're like of status and you're being like driven. Yeah, you're being driven to like some sort of insider club but then it says someone will try to make you do something against your will which is this injustice thing so remember don't be tempted to lower your standards regardless of whatever this is or if you're a celebrity or if you're not this is like telling you to like you have like certain oh my gosh the sound you have certain responsibilities and standards to uphold and to live up to Good, exactly. You need to be a wise person and get advice from wise people. And there's something about like the cal... Mm. Like, I don't want to say caliber of people that you're dealing with. It's about their like... um, It's not about where they're at in life. It's about them wanting to take advantage of you. Like, if they wanted to reciprocally be friends with you and, like, that have that be reciprocally beneficial, like, that would be cool. But it feels like they're coming to it in, like, an undercover kind of way. Okay, yeah. And then we have Feather, someone you know is independable and insincere. So it's, like, somebody that, like, doesn't have, like... Well, I was going to say somebody that doesn't have the status of you, but, like, it does feel like they have something. Because I, I'm seeing them as the Queen of Pentacles, but I'm also seeing you as the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know why I just heard you could be sisters. Or you could have been like childhood friends or something like that. Or like there's something about you watching each other like grow up or get things. We have disappointment in a friend or lover. Like this has gone all over the place, but I feel like the spirits are warning you like your path, like you need to be like mature on this path. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly indecisiveness. Like don't be indecisive. Like if you're in a boss position and you were hired to be in a boss position, then you need to act like a boss. Ooh, and I just heard and not let people get away with things. What does that mean? Okay, I have the Thoth deck. Um, I am new to this deck, but I'm excited about it. But I'm going to read a lot of it intuitively. Um, 
We need to know the information. Tell us the information, beautiful guides. Let's clear that energy too. And maybe you're having to like clear this energy, but this like escalated really quickly. Hold on. We need to know what this like injustice is and we need like you're in a power position basically like I don't know why or like you need this is you're in a position where you need to be like structured or like put together or like like it's even giving like if you're like a mom and you need like you're having beef with the teacher like you need to talk nice and be polite because like what you say will be held against you like do you know what I'm saying? Dominion. Two of wands. That gave me such a scary energy. Like somebody wants like control. So your roads, like you are moving into prosperity and wealth basically. And you basically are being like warned to fight. Like you're going to have not, you're not going to have to like be on guard all the time and fight all the time. But like people will want a piece of your I don't know. I keep hearing cherry excitement. They want to bite like a juicy bite out of out of your life. And you need to be smart and intuitive about what deals and who we make with people and who and what you accept and who you even talk to and get like communicate with and get seen with certain people and power because I think there's like what are these dynamics of power? And we'll see with this judgment and justice. Princess of Cups, Princess of Swords, Science, that's Six of Swords. These could, these are like people that are like, maybe pushing boundaries or they're indulgent in certain things or they're like, um, I don't know. Like, they have a different, like, demeanor than, than like, is, like... This is interesting. Like, it's not good to be seen with these... Well, it's not that it's not good to be seen with these kinds of people. Like, it's honestly... You queen of discs. It's honestly giving me, like... They're being actually super, like, hierarchical and even, like, kind of classist with it. Like... Maybe it's, like, spiritual status. Like, it's, like, these people are, like, babies. Like, they're students, like, and... Or not even if they're, like, they're still in development. Like, that's a nice way of saying it. But the spirits are, like... I think they're just trying to, like, drive home the point. They're, like, these are the rules. And, like... Like... What is this? It's, like, one of your, like, students trying to, like... I don't know get a drink with you after class or something like that. But it's not necessarily that, and I don't want to say that that's bad. It's just, like, the position. And it, it feels like it wants you to, like, move... A, like, someone might want you to move to a past type of life that you had or, like, being, like, not so high-performing or, like, this... Per like, I saw Page and Princess of Swords, so it's Page of Swords... Page of Cups, too, versus the Hierophant. The Hierophant's of higher status. So they're like, don't go back to that or something. These people don't... I mean, I don't want to say, like, people are after you. These people don't. But, like, what is this injustice? I mean, it could just be, like, an injustice to yourself and to your own, like, stability or something. Let's actually keep that there. Like, it's, like, luxury. Like, it's, like, talking about holding on to your luxury. Okay, we're going to end soon interesting interesting you might be disappointed about this tell me the overall messages for the for pile three for the hierophant for what roads are opening and i just heard what roads are opening for their success you are going to be getting a lot of offers you're just going to be having to determine if these offers are something that you want to do I feel like some of you, like, don't be, I'm hearing, like, don't be, t like, if they were talking to me, they would say, don't be too bougie, because some of these offers, even if they're, like, from people that are of, like, quote, unquote, lower status than you, or, like, they don't live up to your, like, st like, don't be too, <sighs> I 
there are changes that you're going to have to make, but still be humble. And just because somebody is not up to your level yet in whatever you're seeing doesn't mean that they don't have a worthy opportunity. And I also heard opponent. So be careful because you could make opponents by being like snotty with people. Keep moving forward. Um, I do see like love offers coming to you. It's interesting. Are they love offers? What are the Prince of Cups? Oh my gosh, it just flew so hard. Oh my gosh. And then I saw this and then my brain was like, I'm a Christian. <laughs> So Dominion, these they want power, basically. It's not even that they want power over you, but they might want to use you for your power. And so they're saying we're changing our ways now and we're saying now we're saying no with the Princess of Wands. Now we're saying now we're saying no or we're talking to them first or we're going to make sure we maintain our power and don't. Yeah, because not necessarily say no. We're going to make sure that we maintain our power. And what? And not let people oppress us and not take on other people's burdens that are too hard. So yeah, interesting that all of these piles have been like warnings about your roads, but also like what good is coming. So yeah, I hope that that helped in some way, shape or form. Hoped it resonated. Let me know in the comments how it resonated. Thank you for clicking, blah, excuse me. Thank you for hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't already. And thank you for sending tips if you have or if you haven't. And thank you anyway, love you. And I'll see you in the next pile. Bye. Hello, pile number four. Hope that you're doing well. Thanks for coming. Remember that this is a general and collective message. Thanks for liking and subscribing as well if you have done that or choose to do so. So you chose the temperance card and that's about balance. And we're gonna see what roads that you're moving into. I mean, I feel like a balanced road is a pretty freaking good road to move into, huh? So I'm being drawn to the Thoth deck, which I told the other piles that I am new to, so bear with me. And I'm gonna read pretty much mostly intuitively for this one, although I mostly do. Okay, um, but I'm interested in really learning this deck. So, Let's see what roads, ooh, y'all get a fun shuffle today. I feel like you're the only pile that I did this for. Okay, what roads are opening for pile number four? Knight of Swords, okay. Uh, you might be saying something to someone. Excuse the noise in the background. This person looks like a fairy. It's cute. Someone might be moving fast towards you, or you might be moving fast towards someone, or you might be, like, making a post online or something like that. We have the Knight of Discs. It's part of something that you've done before. It's part of, like, maybe a project or an endeavor that you've been doing, whether it's, like, yoga class or writing a book or something talking to a person. Okay. Um, so maybe like communication is opening up for you. Yeah, Ace of Swords. So that, the roads and communication are opening up for you. What else? What other roads are opening up? Lust in the reverse. Maybe your things are going to be more intellectual with people and less like passion charge and maybe you're going to be like dealing with people in a less like you're less like um attraction based way and more like intellect based way in anything ace of wands yeah it's like a new way of doing things i don't know why you're having this transformation we have abundance three of cups okay and the tower hmm why, why the Three of Cups? Ind, indolence. Indolence. 
the Eight of Cups. I feel like, honestly, for some of you, wow, this is a really intense message. This Just take this if it resonates. If it doesn't, we'll move on. Six of Swords. Somebody left a situation that could have been a third-party situation. There could have been multiple people involved or they could, there could be multiple people involved in like a love situation, like even like a love triangle. And it feels like somebody could have left the, the love triangle situation altogether and stopped like their lust or stopped lusting after one of the people or all of the people. I don't know. They went, they went to different options because I was reading that as seven of cups. But why does it feel like somebody from the third party is going to like talk to you or you're like, you're like going away and you're like, I'm going to search more like intellectual people, not like those kinds of connections that I was in before that were very indulgent. I don't know, honestly, we're going to have to see, but you're balancing out your relationships. And if that doesn't make sense, I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I feel like this could be new for you. Maybe it was like you had, you were dealing with like addictions or something like that. You're, you're doing what's best for you now in relationships. That's what it is with the seven of swords in the reverse. So how is this? I think it's going to be a storyline. How is this road opening up? Prince of Discs, I keep seeing and reading this as like a devilish card. So Prince of Discs, that is Page of Pentacles in the reverse. That's somebody that maybe is dropping the ball or doesn't have a ton to offer or they're learning and they're trying to like keep everything together. They could be very stubborn or they could be very like complacent and even like disinterested and work or working on something or a relationship or completing something so i'm like what is this y'all give me like the most dramatic stories like <laughs> okay um science the six the six and <laughs> i was running through the six with my woes somebody's sad but also running through the six with my H-O-E-S. Okay. Um, the six of swords to me, it does seem like a stalemate, but it's also leaving a situation. It's also giving nine of swords, which is like, ah, oh, sad. Completion. A cycle could be coming. Look, there's the, I read this similarly in another pile there's like a bird that's going to a bull so or some or a ram and the ram is very tough and i'm hearing like earth, earth oriented and maybe even like family oriented maybe conservative or something and the bird is like these are the representing the people in the relationship or in the dynamic that you're most familiar with between it feels like between you and and a person in the dynamic and one person's very like free flowing like a bird. And so I think that the bird or the ram, like the ram is either coming to the bird or the bird is coming to the ram. But I do feel like there's going to be some sort of communication, some sort of like maybe, oh, I just heard emotional heartbreak. Maybe it will be heartbreak for some of you. But honestly, what's what roads are opening up for you is that I feel like a, a cycle or a road is going to be completed with somebody who drop the ball or somebody who was immature or somebody who had like darker tendencies that they enacted with you or somebody that couldn't provide you enough with what you needed and it was more lustful than loving or something like that queen of swords in the reverse okay so are they coming back is that what you're saying Well, we have the chariot. It came like in a sideways position. So maybe they're stagnant about coming back. And then we have pleasure. Okay. Which is this? Is this the six of cups? Isn't that the past? I'm like nine of cups. The past to go back to the past is their wish fulfillment. For things to be like they were in the past, but I feel like they feel like that can't happen. So they're stuck. Tell me more. Yeah. 
tell me more about the chariot and they're just they're gonna do what's best for them and you're gonna do what's best for you basically they're they're uh, they're not like <laughs> like they gave me temperance in the reverse they've got one foot in and one foot out that's what it is one foot out the door one foot inside one foot in their emotions one on I'm hearing level ground. I don't know if maybe this person, I don't know. Feels like you're on. So what does this cycle closing have to do? Like, how is this going to help you like with your roads opening? Because I think for some of you, like they might be, they might be coming back just to like make amends and end things for real, which then will give you like the opportunity to rush into your own happiness. Prince of Swords, there's just like this talking or this spying or this watching or. Yeah, this person's going to drop the ball like again, or this person's going to like, are they, act they're going to try and equal things out. I heard because they didn't they didn't win in the situation, and I think that they feel like um, it's holding them back in life. By like it feels like they feel like it's just something they need to do. <laughs> so that they can grow. Okay, so. How is this help, like, the roads opening up? The road opening up is that there, there's, like, this possibility of them coming out of hiding. Or, like, they're, I don't know, because it's, like, not like they're physically coming out of hiding because they could. Like, that's, like, definitely been ruminating in their mind. I'm going to use the tea leaf deck. Knight of Cups in the reverse, but they're not coming in as this knight in shining armor, and they're not. And I feel like you're going to realize that they're not this knight in shining armor, like they're not this, like, savior, like they're not this, like, person, that situation that's going to be fixed and awesome, and everything's going to be great, and then it's going to be back like it was, no matter, and not no matter, but even if you wish that it would be. Yeah, no change, stagnancy, queen of, what is this reverse queen of swords? Oh, looky here, knight of wands. It's like partially like, don't talk to me, but also it's like, it's like a, it's like a wishy-washy energy, but I feel like you're going to be freed of this wishy-washy energy so that you can move on. Like you're going to gain some enlightenment and then you're going to be like, ha, oh. like it's giving pile one with the transformation of the caterpillar to the butterfly. Truce. Yeah. I feel like this person's going to come through with a truce, like to put things to rest. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. So I guess that's a warning for pile four, LOL. So the roads that are opening up, a truce. Anything else? You are on the road to success. Yeah, so they're like, this thing's gonna be resolved. You're on the road to success. Chain, this will be a chain of events that will affect your life. That makes sense. Yeah, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So it's like all of these piles have been about like the endings influencing or like shaping and working with and through the beginnings. Okay. This person who's leaving your life may be arrogant. I just saw that. Okay, we have an exciting event, gong. So it's like a big deal. And it's also a spiritual, like, it's like a spiritual event. It's like, it's like the big, like, ding. And so it is, you know? Oh my gosh. Did you see that? So we have plenty of material things. Oh my gosh. Love, deep affection, horse, short journey. Ex you should accept valid criticism this person might not accept valid criticism this person could be a masculine or maybe they're telling you to accept valid criticism and be careful of your anger when this person comes to you you're climbing towards success it could be like this is an event that's helping you climb towards success but there could be another event that is more significant 
and shows your success. Literally, wow. Okay, so, wow. Reconciliation, unsuccessful plan. So there might be like a reconciliation. Like, I feel like this person, wow. So this is also confirmation, if you're following me, that the person coming back or if you're, whatever, the conversation, like, if there is an attempted reconciliation, I think that it might just be like, it, it will be a pineapple is success. So it will be successful <laughs> that there is no reconciliation, that the, the knot is cut. Maybe the cord is cut or the ties are ended or you un like, or it's a good thing that if you get together and you attempt to reconcile that it doesn't work out. It's a good thing. It will, it is you climbing towards success. Yeah, that's it. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, wish will not be granted. So if it's your wish or this person's wish or both for you to get back together, I don't think it's going to happen. We have lobster financial pinch. It could impact your money if you get back together with this person. And I, I see that, yeah, there was a lot of strong passion and lust, love or hate maybe, or maybe there's a lot of strong passion, love. maybe, yeah, there's a lot of strong passion, but is it practical with the financial pinch? And we have protection from, from a powerful friend, so protect yourself. I also feel like you might have, you have friends, you also, you're like spiritual allies that are protecting you and your new opportunities and possibilities and paths that are coming in and supposed to be coming in. So I feel like this situation, it is temporary. For some of you, you might have this person like stay with you temp or they'll come to your like, we have August come to your town or something, maybe in August. We have I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. This is like a discernment card, like changes in your life. I would just like, this person might be deceptive. Like they're saying like, listen more than talk kind of. And like, like be very discerning with this person and situation. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. This was from pile. This was from pile one. You might realize it's time to get out of this situation for your spiritual gro growth and increase in wealth. Okay, this person might be coming asking for money or something, or there they would be a danger to your money because we have money will be coming to you, which we have like confirmation of everywhere. I mean, your success and your money should be tied. And then we have danger, especially in money matters. So this bear thing. And also this is like giving me, I haven't actually seen any of it, but I've seen people talk about it. Like this like um, meme or like this joke online where people are like, I would rather, women are like, I'd rather like be alone with a bear than with a woman. I mean, woman <laughs> than with a man. Maybe it's a woman for some of you. Yeah, no matter what the gender, like, they're like, I would rather be alone with a bear than deal with this person. And I feel like maybe even if you really like this person right now, it might end up you, that's what's going to happen. And you're going to realize that's what's needed for your success. And then this literally came out, key successful outcome to your problem. So, and then literally recognition, reward for merit, basket. Like you're getting this like abundance energy, this fruitful energy. So I feel like you're being like, maybe like, I don't know if tested is the right word. I'm not saying you're actually being spiritually tested, but this is some sort of like human test for your like abundance, prosperity and your roads where you're going to have to decide like, to, you're going to have to pick and choose and you're going to have to like, discern and like reject and get out of certain situations and not let certain people in your life even if they're from the past and you love them or you there's a lot of excitement and there was probably a third party situation involved here um like the key to like you having clear and open roads is like letting go of the situation i feel but you know that's if you don't resonate with that it's cool um yeah thank you for watching i hope that that helped um, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to tip my infos in the description box below. Okay. So yeah, similar to pile number three, don't lower your standards and you're stepping into a new experience. So that was your reading. Be well, and I'll see you in the next post. Bye.